Okay, so now we are inside Godot with fresh scene. Uh, let's just go ahead. I'm gonna make a card flip, which it's so easy to do, but it has a great effect. It's like faking a 3D movement or 3D rotation. So I think just call it card flip too, because I already made another one. Uh, of course, first thing that you need to do, you need to add a sprite, which contain this first sprite. I think it should contain the card back. So in this case, I already created one. And uh, another thing is animated sprite. Why do I choose animated sprite? Because I'm using multiple cards. So I have a pool of cards that will be shown uh, for the game. So I have this one but you don't want it to be animated so first of all i don't really care about the loop you just don't click the uh playing this one right so because if it is playing then the card will be animated unless that's what you want uh i don't want it to be that so yeah i don't really do anything on that and then i, I will rename it card back and then this one is the card itself let's add animation which is going to be the core of this trick or this method what do you call this one uh, the, the, the the trick so i'm just gonna call the animation card flip create new animation right and then click new animation made it uh, into card flip now let's go to the card itself as you can see actually the um the card is the first thing that needs to be shown is the card back so how can we do that just go to the card nodes and then go to the z index and set it to minus one because when the z index is negative it's it become uh, lower in the render priority on the card back let's just um, animate the scale when you click the card back and then you just click on the animation over here it will give you an another option which is uh, a keyframe so in this case card back so you can click on the key icon over here and then it will bring up uh what is it, the keyframe it will put the keyframe on uh, the animation we just actually just try to manipulate the scale and then insert key and then i'm gonna set it to 0.1 so now it's turning like that i'm gonna make it a little bit faster all right i think that looks good as you might see actually the cards also animated because it becomes the child of the card back node because so you don't really need to animate both nodes to get the the result that will be shown later I needed to go back to uh, one, the X scale. So I'm just gonna duplicate that one. So let's take a look. All right, it's actually like rotating, but doesn't really look like it because it shows the same face, which you don't want that. Click on the cards and then modify the Z index. Um, you might notice there is no key, um, what is it, key icon over there because you are in the sprite frames instead of the animation click on the animation now it will bring up the key icon click on the z index it sets to minus one right now and then move a little bit further and then set it to zero and then it will bring up the uh, cards now all right looks good well doesn't look that good well uh, maybe just put it a little bit oh yeah you can turn off the snapping over here if you want it to be precise i, I think i want to set it to uh, 0.01 right so it doesn't really show when it flip well it's still shown when it flip i think i'm gonna make it in the same way sound like that oh looks looks better another trick that you might uh do is actually make the easing on the motion itself you can set the uh, what is it what is this called the curve to animation curve into oh inter interpolation mode actually it says the name of it i'm stupid i'm sorry interpolation mode to uh, two cubic and then i usually make the first or initial movement is a little bit slower and then it will stop also in slower manner so it has the easing actually it's over there but right well that's just looks nice to me so basically this is how i use it the tricks inside the game so wait a minute i need to kill all the enemies and collect all the soul uh okay okay one more or oh, two more one more all right oh there you go so i have this menu over here that shows the upgrades and when they popped up they will uh, use the animation tricks that I've just showed you. And when I click on the card, it also actually reversed the animation that I already made. There you go. And go back to the gameplay. That's just one way of using it. Maybe you can use it in your card game. If you make a card game like Hearthstones or Legends of Runeterra or whatever card game that you play. So, well, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Maybe, well, I don't really know uh, what to do. I'm a bad YouTuber. And if you want to support the channel, you can buy the game that I created. Link 
to the video trailer it's actually on the description and you can just see the description over there and you can just download over there thank you so much for watching my name is Sarah Vidangala sending out see you next time and bye whoa whoa alright it's gonna keep playing it you know I think